Hey folks, welcome to another episode of The Natural Medic Adventures. I'm your host, Craig, The Natural Medic. And on this week's episode, we're going to talk about trail hygiene. In just a few minutes, I'll roll a clip from when I was at Eagle Rock Loop about two weeks ago up in Arkansas. It's the longest trip I've ever taken, not only by myself, but with anybody. I was totally by myself for a three-day, two-night, about a 30-mile loop up in the Washita Mountains of uh, southwestern Arkansas. Really a challenging trail, but I was able to take care of myself pretty well following some general trail hygiene. We'll go over in a clip in just a minute. I have already talked about on this channel or in this podcast about how to take care of your bathroom needs and also how to do first aid. I will link those videos in the description below for more exploration on those particular topics of hygiene. But for now, let's take a look at what I did to take care of myself on the Eagle Rock Loop two weeks ago from the shooting of this video. All right, see you there. Hey folks, good morning. I am filming this on Christmas Day, December 25th, 2021. We're going to talk about hygiene today. Okay, so hygiene, pardon my little grubby toes. I'll get them out of the frame there. When you're on the trail, you want to consider your hygiene needs. I do have breakfast going while I'm doing this video. So I'm watching that simultaneously. You do want to take care of your tooth hygiene. So at the bare minimum, you need some toothpaste. There are other alternatives I'm aware. I decided to bring some Listerine Total Care, just a little bitty, perfect for travel and camping. I got that to keep my breath fresh, kill germs, gingivitis, that kind of good stuff. And I ordered from Garage Grown Gear, a Black Friday special, and they sent me this little <laughs> ultralight toothbrush. I'm not totally for sure if I like it or not yet, but you just put your thumb and your forefinger right there. Scrub. Now things to keep in mind when you're brushing your teeth, you always want to follow leave no trace principles. So you want to make it where you know you're not kicking your used toothpaste from your mouth out into the stream. You want to try to broadcast that. Try to use as little water as you can and try to broadcast that out over a wide area so you'll avoid causing a major impact to an area. So you want to do as minor impact as you can. As far as it's unseasonably warm this trip on Eagle Rock it's been in for the highs, it's been in the 70s, which is odd for this time of year in Arkansas. So you definitely want to you definitely want to consider some gold bond or similar powder to keep your nether regions, armpits, hair, whatever, a little less greasy and sweaty. It helps control some of that funk. Okay. So like I said, I had to take care of my boiling water from my breakfast. Gold bond or similar powder on your special areas, armpits, hair, nethers, just to keep that sweaty, funky to the minimum. Now, I started doing this trip. I've really never done this prior to this trip. I just stayed funky. But I got a 30 pack of these wipes. They don't weigh very much. They, the whole pack weighs like four or five ounces, and I think it's definitely worth it. Because at the end of the day, or any time during the day, really, you could take these, they're just a little moist towelette. And it does say men's, but I don't know. women could use them. No big deal. But you can wipe down your armpits and your nethers and your chest and your buttocks, your legs, face, whatever you need to wipe down. It's not a bath. It's not a replacement for a bath. Based on what else you, you might have uh, available, yeah, you can do that. So there's that as an option. Okay, now as far as I talked about first aid before, just as far as health and comfort, just in case the food doesn't agree with me for some reason, Pepto-Bismol, chewable tablets. I think I got these and this at the Dollar Tree. So it's a dollar for that. I think they've gone up now to $1.25. But anyway, dollar for that. 
or dollar twenty-five for that, and a dollar twenty-five for the little packet of wipes. Worth it, in my opinion, and well worth the wait. Not very much wait. I do have some fingernail clippers. I'm probably gonna use them on my toes because I do have a toe over here on my left foot where the nail was a little sharp on the corner, and the foot, the nail bed started to bleed a little bit. So I'm gonna clean that up after I clip the nail this morning. Another thing you might consider. Recovery rub just makes things all the more comfortable. And I got this from a subscription box. I don't know which one for sure. I think it was Karen. But it's a Arnica-based recovery. Good for your legs. If you have sore legs, sore shoulders, muscles of any kind. And it's compact and it's lightweight. Worth sticking in there. If you are a corrective lens wearer, I do have my glasses here as a backup and to wear at night. But my eye care professional gave me a trial run of these daily contacts here. I've never worn daily contacts. Basically, you just wear them a day. At the end of the day, you take them out. You throw them in the garbage. And voila, you have contacts. Don't have to worry about sanitizing your hands like you would. Don't have to worry about sanitized container to put them in, putting your grubby paws in there and trying to get getting some kind of eye infection or something like that. And then lastly, for now, I would say I have a and it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be REI. There's a lot of places out there that make pack towels. I have a pack towel here I carry on my pack, whether I'm day hiking or backpacking. This right here is great because it's a little compact towel it absorbs I don't know many times it's weighed in water and you can use that to wipe yourself down additionally like from a stream if you're taking a break uh, or a lake or whatever and get some of the funk off cool yourself down now something to keep in mind and you don't see this in my kit this time is soap i did not bring any soap of any kind i do have some hand sanitizer on the back of my pack there i have some hand sanitizer behind that pocket where that is clipped to it's in my my poop kit that i use before and after going to the bathroom when i have to go but that's pretty much what i'm going to have i don't have soap from my pots if you're going to use soap of any kind you need to make sure it's very very well diluted Following leave no trace principles and do not put it in any kind of body of water, stream, river, creek, lake, pond, ocean, <laughs> etc. Because it will contaminate the environment, even if it says biodegradable and all that. And lastly, I have my vitamins that I take, just regular old vitamins. And actually this will be next to last vitamins and I have some supplements in there for things that I'm taking like uh, tart cherry and uh, a men's kind of general health supplement. So in a nutshell that's hygiene. I hope that helps you better understand some hygiene things. Well take care. I sure hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Remember when you're out in the outdoors, taking care of yourself, always follow Leave No Trace principles to keep the natural resources enjoyable for other people that might come in out and visit and have, try to have the same experience as you have. If you enjoyed this video and you found value of it in any kind on YouTube, please give me the thumbs up. If you're out there on the podcast, whatever service you're listening on, I'd love for you to give me a review subscribe to the channel if you could. Thanks so much for listening, guys. We'll see you next time. Be on the trail. Bye.